with your timer connected to the internet, you're ready to set up the zones. So we're going to first name the timer. Makes it easier to identify when you have multiple timers. And say next. Now that your timer is connected, it's going to say, let's test out your zones. Say, OK, we're going to continue. We're just going to pick a few zones to set up. Say next. Now we're going to go through, or the app is going to go through and test each zone that's, that you've said is connected. So we're going to test zone one. We see the program starts. Light comes on. Next, we can give that zone a name. And if we want, we can even take a picture of the zone. So that we don't have to remember zones by name, even, or number. We just have, have a picture. And we'll run through each zone doing the same thing. Now that you've set up your zones and tested them and named them, taken pictures, whatever you want to do, uh, you're ready to set up watering. So we're going to choose smart watering this time. Uh, so kind of explain smart watering, helps you uh, improve your watering, save water. Uh, we're going to set up one zone. Each zone has some smart watering attributes you can set, soil type. Uh, if you don't know, you can say, I don't know. Pretty common to have loam, clay loam. Plant type, we have cold season, season turf around here. Sun shade, if there's any shade at all, it's partial. So we're just gonna say full sun. Slope, if you live on a hill, you can set your slope. Head type. Head count, how many sprinklers are in the zone. And if you have catch cups, you can go through and, and input the data from your catch cup tests. Uh, there will be a link to the catch cup video at the bottom or below of this video. Go ahead and click that if you're interested in learning how to do more catch cups. And we'll just turn the others on with the default settings for this demo. And we say next. Next are restrictions, water restrictions. If you have them in your area, you can turn them on. You can say whether you want to water on particular days or don't want to water. If you want, you can just water even or odd days. And if there's times that you can't water, you can set those times here and here. PM. I think this one was supposed to be AM. So now we're not going to water between 6 AM and 10 PM. And you say next, and you're ready to water. Smart Water will begin watering at the next program.